Imagine a world where demand for your product or service exceeds supply. That's the core principle of the book Oversubscribed by Daniel Priestley. In this intriguing tome, Priestley challenges the conventional wisdom that businesses should strive to meet all demand. Instead, he presents a compelling argument for creating a business model where demand consistently outstrips supply. It's a bold idea that may seem counterintuitive to many. However, Priestley assures us that it's not only possible, but can also lead to phenomenal success. The power of scarcity is a concept that's been around for centuries. It's a basic economic principle that the scarcer something is, the more valuable it becomes. And yet, many businesses continue to operate under the assumption that they should strive to meet every iota of demand. This, Priestley argues, is a mistake. In fact, he goes a step further, suggesting that businesses should actively engineer situations where demand exceeds supply. Now you might be thinking, isn't that a risky move? What if customers get frustrated and go elsewhere? Priestley acknowledges this concern, but he argues that the rewards far outweigh the risks. When a product or service is oversubscribed, it becomes more desirable. It becomes something people aspire to have. It's no longer just a product or service, it's a status symbol, a badge of honor that sets the holder apart from the crowd. This in turn can drive even greater demand, creating a virtuous cycle of success. Priestley's concept of oversubscription goes beyond merely limiting supply. It's also about building anticipation, creating a sense of exclusivity and making customers feel special. It's about turning customers into raving fans who not only buy your product but also become your biggest advocates. So, how does one create such a business model? Let's delve into the chapters to find out. Chapter 1 introduces us to the oversubscribed model. In this opening chapter, author Daniel Priestley lays out a seven-part method to create a business that is perpetually in high demand. The essence of this model is about creating scarcity in a world of abundance. The first step is to create a uniquely compelling product or service, one that stands out in a crowded marketplace. The second step, create your own market. You must identify and understand your ideal customers to cater to their specific needs and desires. Thirdly, Priestley emphasizes the importance of generating hype. This is about creating anticipation and excitement around your offerings. The remaining steps delve into the nuances of managing demand, pricing for scarcity, launching and relaunching, and maintaining a state of being oversubscribed. This chapter sets the stage for understanding the principles of being oversubscribed. It's not just about supply and demand but about creating a brand so desirable that it always exceeds supply. Chapter 2 delves deeper into the concept, showing us how to turn the tables in our favor. It's about creating an irresistible pull towards what you offer. This chapter presents us with strategies like building a tribe. A tribe isn't just an audience, it's a group of passionate followers who are invested in your journey and what you have to offer. Creating a sense of exclusivity is another powerful strategy. When something is exclusive, it's more desirable. Think about it, we all want to be a part of something special, don't we? And then there's the use of campaigns to generate hype. Campaigns give people a reason to talk, share, and get excited about your product or service. It's about creating a buzz that's so loud it's impossible to ignore. Now we understand how to create the demand, but how do we control it? That's what the next chapter is about. Chapter 3 teaches us the art of being in demand. The essence of this chapter is about understanding and mastering the dynamics of supply and demand. It's about creating an environment where your product or service is not just desired, but desperately needed. But how do we achieve this? Firstly, it's important to set the right price. Many assume that a lower price means more demand. However, this is not always the case. A lower price can often lead to a perception of lower value. On the contrary, a higher price can create an aura of exclusivity and quality around your product or service. It's about striking a delicate balance between affordability and perceived value. Next, create a sense of urgency. This is a powerful psychological tool that can stimulate demand. Urgency can be created by limiting the time in which a product or service can be purchased, or by limiting the quantity available. This strategy, known as scarcity marketing, can make your offering seem more valuable because it is less accessible. Lastly, manage supply and demand effectively. This is perhaps the most crucial aspect of being in demand. When supply exceeds demand, your product or service loses its perceived value. Conversely, when demand exceeds supply, the value of your offering increases. This is the principle of scarcity in action. By carefully managing your supply, you can create a situation where demand is always greater. 
But remember, being in demand is not just about selling a product or a service, it's about selling an experience, a lifestyle, or a solution to a problem. It's about understanding your audience and what they truly desire. It's about creating a narrative around your product or service that resonates with your audience. With these strategies, we can now create and control demand, but how do we maintain it? That's what the next chapter explores. Chapter 4 tells us how to stay oversubscribed. Imagine a world where your business is so sought after, so coveted that you're forever oversubscribed. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Well, Daniel Priestley tells us it's possible. He outlines key strategies for staying oversubscribed. First, continuous innovation is paramount. The world is changing at a rapid pace and businesses must adapt and innovate to stay relevant. This means constantly introducing new exciting products or services or improving existing ones. Next, maintaining exclusivity is crucial. If everyone can have it, no one will want it. Your business should offer something unique, something that can't be found anywhere else, and then deliver that with outstanding service. And finally, it's about building strong relationships with customers. People buy from people, not companies. So, fostering genuine connections with your customers can create loyal fans who will not only buy from you but also advocate for your business. These strategies ensure that we stay in demand, but that's not all. The last chapter reveals the ultimate secret to being oversubscribed. Scene Script Chapter 5 reveals the ultimate secret to being oversubscribed. Diving into the depths of this enlightening chapter, we uncover three pivotal elements that form the foundation of this secret. First and foremost, the importance of having a compelling story, a story that resonates with your audience, a narrative that they can connect with, and a tale that sparks emotions and fuels desires. This is not just about what you sell, but why you sell it. Then we have branding, a force so powerful that it can either make or break your business. A strong brand is more than just a logo or a tagline, it's an identity, a promise, and a statement of your values. Your brand is your business's personality, and it should reflect who you are and what you stand for. Finally, we arrive at delivering exceptional value. It's about going the extra mile, exceeding expectations, and creating unforgettable experiences for your customers. With this secret, we are now armed with all the tools we need to create an oversubscribed business. So, there we have it. The book Oversubscribed by Daniel Priestley offers a revolutionary approach to business success. It's about creating a business model where demand exceeds supply, where your product or service is so sought after that you have customers lining up waiting for the opportunity to do business with you. In this book, Priestley emphasizes an essential concept. He encourages us to shift our mindset from chasing customers to making customers chase us. It's about creating such a unique, compelling, and valuable offering that it becomes irresistible. This is the power of scarcity the driving force behind the oversubscribed model. He introduces us to the art of being in demand, where you're not just offering a product or service, but you're selling an experience, a transformative journey that your customers are eager to embark on. It's about becoming the beacon in your industry, the one everyone looks up to and aspires to emulate. Staying oversubscribed is a whole other challenge and this is where the book truly shines. It's not just about achieving success, but maintaining it, ensuring that you're always a step ahead always innovating, always delivering more than what's expected. The ultimate secret, as revealed by Priestley, is about understanding your market, knowing your customers better than they know themselves. It's about anticipating their needs, their desires, their pain points, and fashioning your product or service to address these directly. In short, Oversubscribed presents a roadmap, a set of guidelines to help businesses navigate the competitive landscape of today's market. It offers strategic insights into creating and maintaining a business where demand exceeds supply, where being oversubscribed is not just a possibility, but a reality. So as we wrap up our exploration of oversubscribed, let's take a moment to reflect on the key takeaways. It's about creating demand, being in demand, and staying in demand. It's about understanding your market and anticipating its needs. It's about delivering more than what's expected and it's about achieving and maintaining success. Remember in the world of business being oversubscribed is the ultimate goal, and now you know how to achieve it.